Hello everyone. This is my application that I created in order to manage splitting bills among the group and I named it bill splits. So for creating this application for front end side, I have used react and for designing, I have used material UI and for the back end side, I have used Firebase. Hello everyone. This is my application bill split. I've created this application using react and material UI for the front end and for the back end part I have used Firebase. So as you can see this is our home page. Now we have a sign up page along with a login page as well. So let's quickly create a user. And by the way this particular form along with the login page and all the other forms that we have in order like adding the group or adding the expenses all these forms are basically responsive along with that it is validated as well so yeah here we have our dashboard page where we can add and manage our group and also we can see our transactions that we have made across all the groups that we have created. Transaction summary part that will show our transaction history that we have made amongst all of the groups that we are being part of. Now let's quickly create a group. Suppose the name is Quadrip Manage. Group type, you can select any of this one. Uh, what it will do is, is eventually it will dynamically change the icon of that particular group. So I'll just show it to you as well. Okay. Group. As you can see, this particular icon will be changed on the basis of the group type that you have selected. Now we have the member. It will have a couple of information like group name, description, member list, who created the group, total expense of the group, your expense in that particular total expense, and the day group created. Right. Right now we are not having any record and paid or received section of transaction summary. We are going to get it in a few seconds. Now let's get into the group. As you can see, we have expense list over here. Since we don't have any expense right now, showing no expense record, and we have list of members that we can add. Like we can add more members to it as well, even after the group has been created. Here we have our balance summary. So yeah, add an expense and see what are the data that we'll get. So suppose train tickets paid by Erin Jaeger and will show split value as well. We'll add it where we have our expense, and you can see further details like what is the split value, what the part spent, and we have a delete option. So this delete option will work or work for that particular person who has created that expense. Like if I'll go and log in with this particular user, I'm not going to see this delete icon since Erin Yeager has not created this particular expense. So only the user who has created a particular expense can delete it, right? Again, now, as you can see in our balance summary, we have now have some data. Uh, here, it will tell you like, if you owe someone an X amount of rupees or if someone owes to you, right? We are going to see that as well. And if you'll click in others, you can see others balance summary as well, right? Now let's add one more title, suppose breakfast 400. Now it is paid by you. Select all the users that we have added. Now, as you can see, we have all the other records, like all the other person who owe to you, right? So yeah, this is all. And also we have a delete group functionality. So this is also have a role permission, like the one who has created a group can only see this delete group functionality, right? 
if you want to settle this particular bill just click on this one it will ask if you want to settle it right now we are not having any you know payment gateway integration in our application so what you can do is like you can settle your bill with some other application or with cash and just mark it as settled over here in our application right press yes we'll see will settle successfully now go back to our group as you can see it will have the total expense of the group your expense in that particular total and as you can see we have a transaction summary now so you have paid 80 rupees for breakfast e20 rupees to erin yeager that you settled and if you have any received bill you can see that as well right so yeah let's we'll click on this one you can see uh you know from which group that particular transaction belong to and what is the transaction date as well right so that's all from my side thank you for watching